What's going on, YouTube? Earth Power here with CVH. How's it going, everybody? And we're back for top four in the Duel Masters Season 3 Bracket Tournament, trying to find a best deck. Five Civ Control managed to claw its way from the play-in, beat its top 16 opponent, whoever that was, beat Alzonius in top eight, and now it sits firmly in top four up against Hydra Hurricane, a fan favorite, if one might uh, say so much. One one might say so much. Would we? I don't know. Let's jump into the match. Uh, we'll because it's going to yeah, be potentially right a long one. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm up against the clock. So, yeah, good. good. It, it, if you want to jump ahead to 30 minutes from now, um, there might be a lot of noise in my house here coming. So, yep. Um, wife. CVH yes, Carl's married. To... He is a married adult man who is Yikes. married to a woman. Yeah. Um, he's got his <laughs> life together, yeah. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Trying our best out here. I mean, Top eight ninety C's, settling down, spending a lot of money on dual master cards. Yeah, you know it is. Oh yeah, it they would have seen that by now, right? <laughs> Maybe they would have seen that. If you now. haven't, go back into the channel, please. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man, it's cool that dual masters is giving us gems uh, that I'm paying exorbitant amounts of money for at this point. So yeah, I. I, w I could never. I could, but I would not. But you would, and that's awesome. <laughs> but I would, and we here we are. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got a top four match for you. Enough about all that. Um, Five Civ, huh? Like, made it all the way. It's it's basically just a foul deck with a tiny water section, right? Like, it's weird that we made this work in 40 cards, and yet, you yeah, know, we've played even... IDC metas now four times, and, you know, Full looking disclosure. back on this. I mean, these matches are played a couple months ago. I don't even remember how many fouls it are, but like the idea was that, you know, we're trying to pack these into 40, so we're using multiple Forbos, I think three Forbos and three Rebirth, or three Forbos, two Rebirth, something like that. Um, it's three Forbos, I think a Rebirth, and one or two fouls? Definitely so. one or two Rebirth. I'm pretty sure there's two, but we'll see if we if the match drags on, which it will, yeah. or you can just check the list. But like a lot of <laughs> one-of spells... Um, certainly not how you'd build a deck like this if you're playing it in an IDC meta where you'd rather play at least like 45 or 50 cards to um, to not have your spells trapped in shields there. Um, but Hydra Hurricane, another slower deck. Uh, Hydra is actually the deck that I played in the last IDC. played Claude Alpha's version. I played a worse version of it, but beat him anyway because there's no justice in the top four um, with the Gigazalts. And this is a more traditional old school Hydra deck. Again, not necessarily how you'd play it in a, in a tournament without a deck limit. Um, because Hydra is usually better at higher deck counts. Sorry for anyone who just heard my Slack notification because I'm remote desktoping and I'm pretty sure it just came through. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it. If that's if it's any consolation, but God knows, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Everybody gonna just uh, close that real quick. All right, we're gonna we're gonna find this list here. There it is. Oh my! All right, what do we got here? Oh, Mystery Ass is on the board, by the way. I'll keep doing the play by play about the play by play while Carl uh, finds out how many rebirths, etc., are in that deck. Not even, Rebirth and Pale is a great combination, especially when the opponent is not playing many copies of Terra Pit. Uh, we're dodging all of the relevant fire removal here. Mystery Ass is poised to draw several cards. Uh, Falig is coming back. Uh, Falig is getting back the Cranium Clamp, I believe. And now there's two Mystery Ass at 4k each. Carl's going up to yeah. seven. His best answer here is Apocalypse Vice, but I already see it in the mana zone, and I think there's only so it one is, Apoc. So it is two rebirths, three Forbos, one foul. Nice. Well, you've used so, the foul, yeah. and how many Apocalypse sure Vice have. are there while I've got you? Uh, a single. Yeah, this uh, is not looking single. good for you. Yeah, single. Most, Ooh, I think every one. fire spell is a one. <laughs> every fire spell is a one of. Apocalypse uh, Vice, single, rebirth, if you count it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so what did I miss? Uh, the glare's back. I uh, forgot about that. Sorry, well, yeah, it's in 720 yeah. this time, guys. Oh, they wouldn't have known. Yeah. Well, the video's in 1080, so when it goes to our webcams, oh. we're like we're crisp. But the the game is 720. Oh, you can't you can't great. upscale that. <laughs> <laughs> just weird Google Drive stuff, man. Yeah. We're, we've got technical difficulties. And CH and I are just trying to make it through this season in one piece. You uploaded this this match and Google was like, look at the size of this thing. You're getting 720. Ugh. Yeah, it gave up immediately. Uh, Cranium Clamp is uh, probably annoying. Um, Second but clamp. you also just have uh, have just a grip of uh, of Holy Alls there. Yeah, you um, that Apocalypse Vice went down into mana quite early which um, is a little bit interesting because there is only the one of, and it's such a powerful card against Mystery Os boards like this. I mean, 
I'm biased because now I know that it, it would fit perfectly and it had an 8,000 power worth of two mystery us, but oh my geez. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, oh. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know if you have Blizzard of Spears or Mecha Dragon's Breath in that deck, but this would be the time. This would definitely yeah, be the time. No. Um, yeah, Mecha Dragon's Breath we do have. Um, I'm swapping out that for Lara Giga. And I can draw up to three cards. Maybe you're just on the mill plan. Maybe you're... <laughs> Looks like I draw the... Oh, no, oh. that's the wave. We, wow. uh, we let you draw three cards, but we were able to deal with the board. And one might say that, yeah, you can have a grip, but if I somehow get that lost soul, which I also slam down in mana at some point, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get there. But yeah, yeah things that's a are a powerful uh, turn though, but I am up about a like a 10 card advantage or something in hand. Yeah, cuz I am top decking at this point. It took everything I had to clear that board of mystery osses, which all things considered, I mean it's it's something that had to happen, right? It's just yeah. unfortunate that you get, you know, a million cards out of it. And Now, if you're if you're newer to yeah. the game, you might be wondering why Carl's not attacking here. He's not really winning this game through aggression. My deck's too full of blockers for that to really be sustainable. Uh, in all honesty, your best bet might just be to try to stall out, try to, you know, Zagazil's a fantastic draw. Um, and maybe since I've drawn so many cards, if I can't build up a board enough to actually hydro and start attacking, you could actually mill me here. But of course, Igabalza comes down and puts a stop to all that nonsense. I don't have that many cards, yeah. though. I'm, I'm down, oh, Hydro's discarded, and I only have two more. Yeah, cards so we're, we're, we've somehow managed to work ourselves back into the race, right? You have three cards in hand. Board's about even. Pala's annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, you know, with some good top decks from five Civ, I can, I can get myself back into this. And one could argue that Baza and a locomotive were uh, two pretty good ones. So I just need to continue that momentum at least here in this uh, over the course of the next couple of turns. Yeah, and looking back, I I don't know what else was in my hand, but I feel like the third mystery os was an overextension on my part. I feel like. Given that you have, I mean, the the swapped searing wave was hard to see for sure, but you have Mecha Dragon's Breath in the deck. I could have just you, played anything else and drew two. That's almost you say as good. that you didn't. You the mystery was the only card in your hand. I clamped you twice, like, and you discarded the two holy alls, and that meant you had you probably held the mystery if that was your last card in hand when you had the three in hand and you discarded the two holy guess, alls. Yeah. So it's, you know, don't know what uh, you top decked. If you top decked a spell, then. I could understand why the mist was just the card to get you back into it. I would, I so was, make, I would be shocked if sense. I was top decking though, because I played a mist, then you played a foul, then I played a second mist and drew, and then I played a third mist. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like yeah. if I had any other blocker, should have just kept it to two, but you know, that was kind yeah. of an edge case. Re here comes Rebirth. Re yeah, Rebirth is annoying here. I can target the Giga Balza, but my Magris is in mana, and Locomotive is my only other four. Um, Trying to go back to the deck list. I had the video running in the background. And that is another reason again. why uh, a lot of these oh, so, rebirth decks play 50 cards. Okay, right. So uh, Thrash Crawler is my other four. Um, so I could potentially... Oh, I don't have Magris in here. It's just Thrash and uh, and uh, Locomotiver. So I basically bank on the fact that, that if I don't see Thrash, I just miss... So I'd rather get rid of one of the palas, let, you know, the potential of being able to forebose and start cycling stuff for wide removal help me get back into it. If those palas stick around too long, the board's going to become uh, uh, insurmountable, insurmountable, whatever that word is. Yeah, that one. Fortunately, the only three drop I can get is uh, Bronze Arm Tribe. So go ahead and grab it. And uh, that's the whole turn. Ooh, that's a bad hit on the Bronze Arm. The other rebirth would have yeah. been pretty nice. Yeah, especially now knowing my deck. Yeah, because the Thrash wasn't there. I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Thrash getting back something like Lost Soul or Apocalypse Vice would have helped you stall a lot, but it is kind of a risky thing. But then Apocalypse Vice wouldn't have been so good if I had the two Palas on board. I do have Petrova to make right. the board, again, pretty insurmountable. So, kind of got to the same place. Now, Forbos is coming down. Plague is there. But yeah, because you're playing so many one ofs in the 40 card deck with five sieves, there aren't really a ton of mass removal options left. I see you looking at Plague and Holy Awe. Uh, Holy Awe would usually be pretty good against Petrova, but Pela is making it a problem. And then you can't kill the Pela first because Petrova makes it 65. So, like, both of these cards are like almost good. Plague is the best yeah. bet at stalling, but it's still like only a, a delay of the inevitable, I think. 
Yeah, it's just it's a numbers game right now, and unfortunately, nothing's really adding up for me. Um, I can get Blizzard, I can get Natural Snare, or not Natural Snare, sorry, uh, Miraculous Snare, um, which could deal with uh, the Pala. Uh, I figure Holy All is going to be my best bet. Um, it lets me deal with Petrova and then potentially deal with Pala. Um, or no, it doesn't let me deal with Petrova here because of because of the power. So I'm yeah, just yeah. really I just went through all that. You weren't listening at all. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. But it's right. So, so I was, I, obviously this is kind of where I'm at, right? So Holy All is definitely one of the pieces that gets me to winning this game if I end up winning. And if you can't deal with it and I can top deck just some other form of removal for the Pala, like the Miraculous Snare, like I need both. And unfortunately, after this Hydro, I'm just not going to get there. Yeah, um, you can replay Forbos and search some more, but you can't play like the power spells here. Um, Soul Swap number two mm -hmm. is in Shields. Uh, nothing particularly fantastic to do with it, though. I guess yeah. you could just get rid of one of my attackers and give me a Pela, which can't attack if you're just trying to stay alive long enough to mill me. But it looks like I still have at least a handful of cards left. So even just one attacker surviving on board, like, I mean, I'd still have two because the Petrova plus whatever you leave. Yeah, I think, I think unfortunately, the option is to swap the foul and get the uh, the rebirth. I think that's going to be my better play here. Um, just because I kind of like rebirth to grab uh, thrash crawler, thrash crawler to set up defense, and then uh, just like hope that I can just kind of find my way back into this game. But even still, I'm just I'm way too many turns behind now. And after one hydro, especially if you see another one next turn, it's just it's uh, things well, things aren't looking great. I'm literally prolonging the inevitable. I think right here, I don't uh, really know that there's a ton of outs. There's definitely um, two Hydras in the discard now, so I'm not sure if the third is in shields or if I have it or something. I Belix that one back, so there might be another one. Um, what actually wound yeah, up I happening? I swapped your Balza for Balza just to stop one attack from happening. I okay. uh, give myself the potential to have one more turn here. So it basically it forces your two-turn clock. I mean, you, I was still on a two-turn regardless, but now I at least have the option of potentially one more trigger. Which I think I know I have. Yeah. Well, and also, this so. two turn means I have to attack with Petrova. Um, here you're trying to. That's not. Oh, oh, Lord. oh, oh, that is how that works. That is how that works because Petrova's. Oh, because her. mine's yeah. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, Love to see it. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, unfortunately that's where the line is drawn. Um, so I basically I can. I can actually attack the Pala here and then bump with uh, Giga Balza. We end up in the same spot, I think, either way. It's got to um, be hitting Petrova, right? Isn't? Yeah, Petrova's well, just the better option I've... as far as attackers go. I can I can clear two, um, and leave you with Petrova, but it's just it's fine either way. You had the other Hydro, which is just sad for me. Oh yeah, it's not great. Great. Yeah, I don't think there was a way to clear two attackers there is the thing. So, yeah. Getting rid of Petrova makes yeah. sense for the long term. But hey, at least you have a lot of cards. Four mana to use them with. And none of your remaining creatures are good enough. So that will be uh, potentially game one. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> right. you, well, you, you had a conversation. You were like, you could get rid of a blocker and still kill a creature. You can get two, rid of two creatures with snare and all that. It doesn't matter. What the, I'll come just on, be man. cheeky. <laughs> yeah. Great. You'll love to see yeah. it. It's like, if, you, if you're going to lose, lose optimally. Yeah, like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, on to game two. Uh, five Civ. Uh, five Civ for the first time down a game. As it won game one and all the other matches. Also, I like that you said, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you said like whatever it was up against in round one and it was like water, fire, nature, tempo, like the deck that you're most known for and love. Oh, yeah, just there completely... it is. Yeah. <laughs> just mentally blocking that one. Yeah, yeah fair we'll enough. just forget that matchup ever happened. God. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, Hydra Hurricane gets it done. Um, it's a tricky matchup for sure. You just got to dodge all the removal and like your deck is a weird version of it because it's like a bunch of one-ofs and 
it's hard to play around anything in particular at any given time unless you've searched for it yeah and we know it's in your hand i think i think yeah and that's got to be the toughest part of this in 40 right it's just mana decisioning like it's uh, you, you really sometimes you just get locked i mean at, at the end of the day like you just have to put down the card so you can play a card like you don't really have the option and because there's so many one ofs you need to rely on the cycle and being behind uh not 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 being able to use apoc because i probably had to end up being mana to put something else down earlier it just was what it was so and i I can't even speak to the truth of that it might have just been a mistake but um you know it's just why it's one of the things when uh when you play all five civilizations yeah yeah for sure it's usually nice to be able to put the expensive cards down early and know that there's some redundancy but in 40 you just can't really afford it in that in a five yeah. civ forty deck in particular, like a three civ control deck can can play a couple copies of things. Starting off strong with a stream, yeah, it's just love to love to see a play on three and five civs. That's uh, it's been the been the key to success for this deck making it this far is just consistency in inconsistency. Yep. So. Um, only two sieves unlocked in three mana, though, and you don't love to see that. Nine multi sieves are supposed to help with that, and uh, unfortunately, it's looking like I'm going to end up getting bricked with them uh, here in a little bit. Hopefully not. But yeah, it's weird. That's one of the things yeah. you almost always do put down early is is one of the multis in turn one. Um, there you go. You get uh, the rest of the sieve. Oh no, you yeah. don't still have light, no, unfortunately. No. Yeah, we found we found darkness in the hide and seek, uh, but we still need light. Fortunately, light is one of the more uh, open. Uh, civilizations just because you get the three four bows two belix the awe on the foul discarding blizzard of spears is... oh and elixir blizzard's gone that's a that's, very lucky yeah, discard this matchup unfortunate yeah holy all found its way into mana so all five sis are unlocked so i love to see it uh we're gonna go ahead and crystal memory now and i think if 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 i'm me and i'm i'm looking back on two month old me Really hope I'm going to get Lost Soul. You grabbed it really fast <laughs> yeah. and then put it back in your deck. I don't know if that's because you're just counting Shield Trigger still or just reconsidering. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I'm, I think I'm just trying to make sure I know what's in the deck because that burnt me a little bit on the Rebirth play uh, to however many uh, a game ago, whenever that happened. Yeah. So. But yeah, ramp into... Uh, I mean, you're on the play too, so being on the play, ramping with the Bronze Arm and then Lost Soul um, while I'm still stuck on five mana is uh, is incredible. The best possible thing I could do is play a Mysterios. Well, the best thing I could do is play random discard and just hit Lost Soul. But barring that, yeah, um, yeah, roll should, high, man. Come on, <laughs> I should play Mysterios here and just hope that you don't have Lost Soul and removal to back it up. That is, is the line. Um, and here comes Lost Soul for sure. Absolutely, it's rid yeah. of a lot of good stuff, man. Love to see it. That is one of the downsides so. of Hydro. I think this version is playing Eureka Charger still, I'm pretty sure, but either way, it doesn't have the ramp of uh, nature control decks, so it tends to lose yeah. a lot of soul race. And I drew yeah, not a creature. On a... Yeah, it's unfortunate. Either not a creature, or just something that costs more than five. Oh, there's no creatures that cost more than five. That's what I'm saying. Something that just costs more than five is what you could have drawn. Yeah, yeah like any spell. Anything, yeah. You got a Petrova now. Yeah. And let's see what it was. It was a spell. Nice. It was a Holy Oil. Yep. All right. You can balls off right, the top. We're... I mean, these aren't bad draws, honestly. That's a bad yeah, discard. We're, we're... Yeah, we're playing the uh, Tink for Tat here, just kind of going back and forth. Uh, Sky Swords? It's not the worst. Not the worst. Yeah. Gets, uh, gets Ghost Touch out of the way. Your yeah, top honestly, decks are looking stronger. Yeah, I don't really mind to see Sky Sword, but yeah, you're prepping for the Zagazeal, and now that is going to be very difficult to answer unless I drew Clamp immediately or Random Discard. It's going to hit well. Otherwise, my board is just going to get like picked off. I think that's the goal here. Um, yeah, it's interesting, right? Because I can set up a really, really hard to deal with two turn. With you at five mana here, I could just play Baza deal with Petrova, and then just, say, answer this board with potentially six mana and four cards, so. You could. You also don't, 
need to. I mean, I'm surprised yeah. that even Forbos is being played. Like, Rebirth's good, but I think this is a great opportunity to get rid of Petrova. Not the that I want to... Play. Like, yeah. Uh, not that I want to play blockers to try to protect it, just because I know that you're going to be... Okay, never mind. The Belix makes it make sense, because you can just get rid of Petrova next turn, even if I play a blocker. Yep. So, you get to draw a bunch off the energy stream. Uh, cheap blocker goes down. Don't have another three drop. So, you could, I mean, like you said, yeah. you could also just go for lethal here. And I don't think, I think actually maybe that's correct. I think maybe you actually try to go for lethal. If I somehow don't have a shield trigger, you win. And if I do have a shield trigger, then you can serve the holy off for the following turn. Because that was interesting. You got the holy off back with Belix and immediately just put it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, ended up not swinging with a bronze arm tribe there. Um, that's questionable. I yeah, think it's just swinging. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just it's it's probably always correct. You don't play meltdown or anything like that. So I think it just makes sense to kill as many things uh, or break as many shields as possible. Um, but I do think uh, to the previous point, like I see that you kept rebirth and a few other cards. I have to imagine keeping holy all was right because like my best course of action here is multiple blockers, and then you just holy all however many I play. I could play like four blockers this turn. And then Rebirth is looking pretty silly, but Holy Oz looking game-winning. Yeah. Fortunately for me... Yeah, here here comes uh, the full art uh, Miraculous Plague. Uh, bouncing and destroying the big things. Which I guess is fine. I mean, I lose the long game here consistently, I think. Unless um, there's a shield trigger that can prevent lethal. I think maybe my only chance here is you replay Bazag, excuse me, replay Bazaga Zeal, go for lethal, get like Holy Aw, then I have lost soul. But even then I lose to the rest of the board, so I have to just get like the luckiest shield triggers possible. Yeah. And I could Fair just play like Rebirth. That. Rebirth on this oh, wait, uh, single Giga Balsa does feel kinda kinda fresh here though. Yeah, it's not bad. I definitely think um yeah, I wish Holy Awe was still in your hand just for you, but with Bazaga's Yield to follow up, even without Holy Awe, I think you gotta maintain the aggression here. If you can play two attackers, that would be great. It's another Forbos. Yeah, it's another Forbos. Gonna go ahead and get back swap. Let's me guarantee that I can have the Baza potentially next turn. Getting a little lucky here. Yeah, yeah. Save yourself a shield. I do have several blockers in hand. Looks like at least two gigas. This Hydro Hurricane. I'm smacking my mana yeah. real hard. And yeah, you could uh Oh, I have to hydro now, I guess. Yeah, you could definitely be uh what is the word uh, annoying here, yeah, with the with the uh, double double Giga and the Hydro. Yeah, I mean, it keeps you it's... off the Zagazeal. It prevents Brown's Arm from breaking, but I'm not really sure what it really accomplishes if I don't have Lost Soul to follow it up. Like, I can prevent yeah, Lethal especially... for turn, but... And the, un the other unfortunate thing is, is you just have a card in hand. Like, all of this, it's kind of like 5 Civ versus Hydro last match. Like, you're you're using a ton of resources to stay alive here, and my hand is just massive. Which, again could just be a detriment if Lost Soul comes off the top in the next turn, but if you don't have it, that's uh thing things are not looking good. Yeah, I don't think I'm using a lot of cards so much as you discarded like four or five with the Lost Soul. I think after that yeah, I've been playing one card fair. or two one two one or two that's a turn. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. This was a turn where I finally got to play a few things. Another four of us. So many four of us just... is searching for snare. I wonder not sure exactly what snare is going to do here, but it's all right. Hydro number two is gone. Yeah, it was just my sort of Hail Mary plan to hydro and survive, but there's no real plan after that. So now it's all about, I think, just, uh, I guess, making sure Mr. Rios doesn't draw me too many outs and then just trying to beat me up with the rest of your board. Orbos is great here. This gets the job done and also potentially goes for lethal. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so yeah, 
Clearing the Mystery House just because that's the card that can get you back into it. If you have a tear pit down, that's the only way I get punished for that play. Otherwise, I have Baza to just start coming in on essentially an empty hand with you next turn. So, yeah, I didn't really yeah, see a way that was a comeback potential at all. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there we are. So one and one. Uh, one and one. On to game three. Uh, can five stiv go the distance and make it to finals? Or is Hydra Hurricane going to do Hydra Hurricane things? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I guess you can, you can deck in the game. Yeah, <laughs> you can probably talk about this deck a little bit more than uh, a little bit better than than I can after piloting it uh, in IDC uh, thirty four. Um, obviously, with a little bit of a different version with Gigazolves and stuff like that, the one that Claude popularized a few seasons ago, um, or a few tournament series ago, rather, but. Um, yeah, I mean it, it, this this version. I mean, comparatively, uh, what are your what are your thoughts here in just terms of strength? Well, I mean, this is a little weaker because I have to. I, I already had to cut a few cards that I would have wanted to play to make it forty. Um, yeah. Beyond that, I do think the version with Gigazolds is stronger. I think uh, well, in this matchup, it's stronger. Maybe it's not like universally stronger, but Gigazold itself is such a ridiculously hard card to deal with. Um, I also don't think this version is even playing one Ice Vapor, so that combination of cards can be just a nightmare for control decks to deal with. Um, Petrova, Mysterios already pre uh, present, like, must-deal-with threats. Uh, with the Pela's Gigazold can't be rebirthed. I mean, it just becomes, like, very hard for the control deck to maintain any sort of cards. Um, maybe slightly different, because you have water in this version, so, like, you have stream and stuff, but, like, it's very easy to get the control decks top decking with the Gigazold version. But I do love me some Lost Soul. I just, uh, the reason it's not amazing in this matchup is because you like consistently lose the race to it, which is rough. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, I see Bronze Arm Tribe on three, and that's fun. Yeah, uh, we're, um... you missed your four drop. Yeah. And it looks like I ended up putting down meltdown i have sky sword in hand which is interesting i wonder what the rest of my hand looked like that would have had me not put down a card to play sky sword oh yeah that's uh odd if that was indeed a thing that was decided on i mean you're already winning the lost soul race but i would say lost souling this turn is way better than lost souling next turn it looks like i'm just maybe like completely maybe getting mana screwed here but well, this is a mono Civ card. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. An answer. Yeah, I've, yeah. Let you draw one card. It's a minus. It's essentially a minus two. Well, if you're setting up for Lost Soul, that doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I drew down another mm -hmm. mystery house. Wow, just have the that's I guess the the only benefit, and it's a, it's kind of a big benefit sometimes to only playing forty. Is you really do draw those mystery ass as much as possible. <laughs> they, they, they're just there. Yeah. Um, I'm not slamming the lost soul. That or I'm overthinking this mana choice. Um, well, it's only there's two yeah, cards lost. now. I feel like at this point, if you have an answer to mist, you probably do that instead. Because with um, with six mana, even if you lost soul, I'll just play a card off the top, play another card off the top, and I'll have three cards. You know, just one for winning this turn is probably more prudent. Yeah. If you've got it and you're searching for something like a crimson, yeah. wait, no, you've already used hammer. Like a yeah, already used hammer. Oh, what is um, it? Don't really snare. have another answer. Uh, snare would be the it would be an answer, but you already tapped um, water. I had so... to, had, well, I had to use the water for the memory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So swap um, number. There two. are no other answers. Yeah, another swap, but I just it's not going to be the not going to be the play here. I don't oh, think. Well, if you had it, I think it would definitely be the play, right? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's just it's an aggressive way to maybe use the swaps, but you might be right. What swapping um, out I think my mist for a pale? Oh yeah. yeah, sure. I, yeah. Absolutely. I think realistically, I'm going for uh, APOC or just some form of wide removal like Mecha Dragon's Breath, um, just to just to be able to deal with uh, everything next turn, uh, deal with it on board, and then we'll focus on the hand. That can be decent, but it does give me a free turn to draw. I gotta tell you, like when I'm up against control decks, um, which is a matchup I had played a few times, like 
I mean, this is a four swap format in IDC, but when they swap Mysterios immediately, it like always seems like a good play. It's like, yeah, they need to take me off of this right now. Yeah. It turns every um... other card into Aqua Hulkus plus whatever it already is. So that Petrova no, just needlessly drew. Hide and seek. Or, yeah. or you searched for hide and seek and couldn't play it last turn. That's also potential. Dealt with a Patla. Fun. It looks like we're going to have a Belix for... Stream? Either Energy Stream or Ghost Touch. I feel like Ghost Touch is probably the better call here. That or uh, the Holy All. I don't love Stream just because I'm... I'm A, I'm not sure if you have water mana. Yeah, that's that's definitely yeah, that was that was I don't think that was correct. I think uh Holy All was the better card to grab there, especially with just having Belix. Well you might be um, yeah, Holy All's probably or better. No, no. But you know it's gonna no, be Holy All's not Holy All's not better because I can't deal with uh oh, yeah. Trova's power. But but, uh, but even if it's not good next turn, it's probably good as soon as you wind up drawing a Forbos or a foul, right? Like maybe you're thinking about the future yeah. here and it's still probably like I just don't know if you'll have time to play the stream is the thing. Oh, that's fair. That's so many turns away, potentially, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you're going you're gonna to spend your whole turn on Mist, uh, which is just fine. Oh, you have Lost Soul. We have Lost Soul, yeah. We got oh, there. this time I do not Brick. Yeah, let's let's find Mecha Dragon's Breath. Come on, now. We can deal with one. That, I, yeah, aggressive hand motions. Just <laughs> upsetty spaghetti is uh, what we'll say here. What, you? Just because of the double yeah. best, yeah. yeah. It was the Just best the, draw in the deck. But. Possibly the best top deck, yeah. Well, I so guess the two only, cards in um, hand, it looks like you like have a lost soul in a pala now. Yeah. A, a second Petrova would have been incredibly annoying. Been better, yeah. Well, no, it wouldn't have. Eh, they both lose to Mega Dragons. I don't know. I don't know. I be like something back. It was a stream. Yeah, you drew first. It wasn't anything relevant. So you got back stream, drew some more. Um, Really wanting to lost soul twice now, but uh, it's in the mana zone, or it's in the graveyard, and I uh, gotta find a foul to get there. And uh, I don't think we're playing. Yeah, there's no dimension gate in this deck, so that's uh, that's tough. Yeah, dimension gate's pretty solid. With forty cards, well, uh... you think that you don't need the amount of search, but as it turns out, sometimes. I mean, look at you, right? Like, uh, Hydro, Hydro Hurricane has the four mist, a bunch of energy streams. Like, having consistent draw, especially in this matchup, is paying dividends right now. Yeah. But finding the space for all that nature is tough in 40 when you're playing five sieves as opposed to three. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we, speaking of though, we did have the foul. You get to draw, and I'll go ahead and get Lost Soul and then just hope. <laughs> Here well, we I, go. I drew a card, so hopefully I can deal with this. I could you probably... are running the the deck is running a clamp, right? Uh, yes, it should be. It's also a hydro the potential. Option. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. That will make Lost Soul not a problem for quite a while. Nope. Yep. I'm uh still have that energy stream in hand i could draw a bunch of cards here and let you lost soul and that'll just be sad for me and i think you have lost soul in your hand so yeah. also maybe fair, mystery should positive. have attacked there i don't know if we've seen terrapit yet mystery house could have probably tried to break either kill belix or gotten shield you have so many cards already odds are i'm yeah. giving you something that's not playable anyway so i could start shipping away yeah maybe here I do comes the lost soul and i think uh yeah i think you start chipping now i mean and to be fair it probably would have made sense to start chipping last turn just because you knew this lost soul was coming yeah, yeah. um but yeah now I, I i guess i get it to a degree it's not really a bad play by any means uh you're right i mean the only thing that makes this look not bad is that i'm like way ahead but yeah i should have attacked last turn for sure yeah Val's gonna get back hydro and play the ooze you're gonna wait one more turn here, and now then I guess I waiting this, is fine. <laughs> yeah, after yeah, after this hydro, um, yeah, it's it's pretty much game over. We are, we are in the end game. So, Just, go uh, ahead and, uh, you're gonna go ahead and get comfortable as you cruise to victory here. Yeah. 
What is your turn? No, it's my turn now. No, it's your turn. I top deck did nothing, and uh, yeah, it's your play. I think we're having conversations about just whether or not to start swinging yet. Gotta be. Put mana down. Giga oh Balza. my god. Bulgala. Attack me. Okay, fine. Just one turn him. Whatever. If you want a one turn, sometimes you want a one turn, right? Like, there we go. There's the hydro. I was trying to... <laughs> that's that's what he wanted. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess I just wanted a full hydro clear because I'm a savage. And it could have just been me there egging you on to make the Hydra the most aggressive it could be, yeah. So. Still attacking in the wrong order, Petrova. Right. I, I, I do. <laughs> I, I, at least I noticed that I attacked in the wrong order, and Petrova should have been. Love to see it. Yeah. Hydro Hurricane in the finals of the Season 3 bracket tournament, finally taking down 5 Civ Control after a, after a stellar run. You know, who would have ever guessed that it would have... Uh, it would have made it to uh, top four, but uh, there it was, and there it falls. Yep. That's actually kind of fitting, because Hydro, this was like, what, a, July or something we played this? Maybe August? Yeah. And Since like months ago, yeah. It took months to narrate, and I just top two the IDC with Hydro this past weekend. <laughs> so like, hey, double double finals with two Hydros. Did it. One week. Coming, coming together. Will it, uh, will it win, or uh, will it lose to the winner of uh who's 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 left uh, uh water dark count. aggro and water light and fire turbo. nature yeah that's right that's right light fire nature turbo burn yeah so stay tuned for that guys coming at you here in the next uh couple of days um we'll have the top four matches cbh and i'll start posting runs i'm finally going to post the four matches from idc 33 uh we're going to post the third place match um after top four concludes at the end of this week and then um yeah finals and then uh yeah, well, uh, you know, whatever happens with IDC after that, you'll be seeing a whole bunch of that content. And one of these days, CVH and I will get together to do a season four. And uh, well, more on that later. So. Yeah, we'll probably do it sometime over the holidays. We'll play a couple of matches yeah. at least. You'll have stuff. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.